today this is another sampling first impressions i've got two samples to go through let's dive straight into it good youtube hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel my name is mikey cologne and i want to thank everybody for tuning in as always so come in put your feet up and relax this is first impressions on two samples and as you can see they're still sealed so i'm gonna tear it get the samples out show you which samples i'm gonna be reviewing and like I say, this is first impressions. I do have to say, if you do enjoy my content and you're popping by for the first time or you've been here before and you haven't pressed subscribe, hit that button. It doesn't cost you a bean. And press the bell because it will notify you when I drop a review for next time. And I've got a code for you. Unique Luxury. If you're interested in that brand or you've got your eye on the fragrance from the house of Unique Luxury, I have a code. I don't make nothing off of it, but it will save you 15%. It is Mikey-Kute23. Put that in once you've put everything in your basket and that will give you 15% off the whole website over at Unique Luxury. And like I say, I don't make anything out of it. But I'm just trying to let you people know that you can save a little bit of money if you put in that code. Let's get straight to it. I can smell something already. I can smell something very floral and juicy. Right, we have Bora Bora and this one is called, and I'm going to apologise if I butcher the name. It is Giordani di Toscania. And we have a fragrance from the House of Suspiro called Dulce Melodia. Don't know the notes, going in blind. That is the way I like to do things. Drop a comment down below if you have tried these fragrances. I would love to hear your thoughts. Suspiro is a part of Zhirzhov, which is a famous niche brand. And they do some fantastic fragrances. The presentation and the quality of that house is top tier. There is no doubt about it. So I'm going to start with the Suspiro first. Let me just show you the sample again. These are one mil samples. And we're going to dive straight into it. On test strip and we're going to go on skin. Maybe this was the one that I could smell. Straight away, what comes to my mind is Ebra Pura from Zhirzhov. Straight away. Fruity, a little bit citrusy, juicy, a little bit floral. Quite floral, actually. It's really got this... Right, on test strip, I'm getting a lot of florals, and on skin, I'm getting florals, but not as much. On skin, I'm getting a lot of orange, and on test strip, I'm getting a little bit of a fruity quality, but it's white, it's subdued. It's sort of, the florals is overshadowing that fruity quality, and on skin, the fruity quality is overshadowing the florals. Kai's zesty, bright, effervescence, uplifting. Kai, it's got this real juicy quality to the fragrance, and I like this. I'm not going to lie to you. To me, it is leaning a little bit more feminine, but a man can easily pull this off. It's a little bit fun. It's playful. Wow. Like... It is very smooth, very, very smooth. Also, it's coming across a little bit creamy as well. This is a very nice fragrance. This would be a fragrance that you could wear all year round, but personally, that opening might become a little bit too much in high heat. That's my own personal opinion. 
You could wear this out and about. You could wear this to work. You could wear this going out for drinks. You could probably wear this on a date night in the summer when it's cooler of an evening. That's nice. That is very nice. Very smooth. Like that fruity citrusy quality up top is very, very rounded. Let's look up the notes. First impressions, that is a solid fragrance. Right, up top, you've got mandarin orange and then orange as a separate note, saffron. Middle notes is gardenia, pear, blackcurrant, rose and jasmine. Base notes is vanilla, white musk and sandalwood. With all them floral notes, that would be giving this fragrance, obviously the floral side to it, but the jasmine and the gardenia could be helping this fragrance with that creamy quality. And then as it starts to dry down, that sandalwood might take over the creamy side of things. Obviously, it'll probably turn a little bit woodsy. I ain't really getting no spice, so to speak. It is a playful fragrance. It is attractive as well. Like That is a very, very nice smooth well done fragrance like it's not over the top but it's quite strong like literally i've done a couple of sprays and this whole area is full of that fragrance first impressions solid and that is suspiro's dulce melodia now we're gonna go for bora bora and like i say i do apologize I don't do it to have a laugh. Sometimes I do struggle to pronounce words. That is just me, but I'm gonna pronounce this. Giordani di Toscana. I've probably butchered the hell out of that. Right. Ooh, that's strong. That is very strong. Floral, vanillic, a little bit creamy, lactonic, soft bit of spice, fresh. I'll tell you what's coming through. This has a little bit of a tropical vibe to it very lightly in the back so maybe this has some fruits in it or some florals that are giving it that quality a little bit milky a little bit dusty but also creamy and lactonic floral soft spicy i'm definitely getting some vanilla here this is not my cup of tea I prefer the Suspiro fragrance a lot better than what I do this one. There's something here that's, it's got like, I'm getting an earthy quality from it on my skin and it's not going well, or to my nose, it's not going well with some of the other notes that are in here. And I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna look up the notes. I'm not gonna rate it bad. It's, I mean, it's pleasant, but because it ain't my cup of tea, it's gonna be a five out of 10 because I'm just not a lover of that scent profile. I am gonna look up the notes. That Suspiro one is a hit. Dulce Melodia. Right, in the top we have TR Flower, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, Apricot. In the mid is Coconut Milk. Nearly got that straight away. It ain't coming across but like I'm not getting the aroma of coconut, but I'm definitely getting that milky lactonic quality from it. White musk, this says jasmo lactone. I do not know what that is. And then you've got vanilla, white musk again, and caramel and amber. I do not know where that earthy quality is coming from on my skin, but it's coming across a little bit dirty and earthy. Maybe that's coming from the jasmine in this fragrance because sometimes jasmine, can come across a little bit pungent and it can come across a bit bitter. But also, it can come across sweet and creamy. Jasmine can be worked in certain ways. Like it has quite of a lot of facets to it to where it can change from one thing to another. And here on my skin, 
the florals are coming across a little bit more mature, like an older woman. And that jasmine on my skin is coming across a little bit dirty and earthy. And that is all I can say about that. I'm going to say it again. That Suspiro Dulce Melodia, if I'm pronouncing that right, which I'm probably not, is a very nice fragrance. Like that is, to me, that is like an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. See, that orange has calmed down, but it's still one of the main notes up top. But now as it's settled, that sandalwood has come in a little bit. And that creamy quality, it was a little bit buttery at first, but now it's it's creamy, smooth, a little bit sweet, or I should say quite sweet, but not overdone on the sweet side of things. And now as it's settled, the florals have calmed down, and to me, it's starting to lean more onto the unisex side of things. Still in the feminine area, so to speak, but it's heading more towards the middle. Yeah, that's a solid fragrance. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it was only going to be a quick one. I wanted to get these samples done. I know I've been doing a few sample reviews lately, but, you know, I've got to test things as well, and I like to do it on camera so you can see my first impressions and we can discover the fragrance together. That is the way I like to do it. Let me know if you've tried these two. Drop a comment down below. I appreciate everybody's support. Happy New Year to everybody, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.